An adventure in Scorched Earth would not be complete without an Acrocanthosaurus tame, and I found one in the desert. Of course, since I have the shiny mod, it was a gilded Acro. I was expecting it to be a little more yellow, but you know, a yellow belly don't hurt nobody. It was a little bit difficult getting him to follow me as he wanted to eat everything in the desert, but you know what? He can handle it. It's fine. We're gonna let him do his thing, and we're gonna watch him do it and let him finish. My method of taming on the arcs is if I can get the biggest, meanest creatures as soon as possible, heck yeah, I'm gonna get it. That's just the way I roll, because honestly, at any point, I can absolutely lose this creature if I'm using this tamed creature. Now, when it comes to the bread creatures, that's a whole other matter. They will be pristine. But this here wild tame, I can lose it to a rock golem. I could lose it to fall damage. I could accidentally damage it myself. Who knows? I, I could lose it in a dinosaur accident of some kind. Anything can happen. So, you know what? I'll get what I can get when I get it. If it comes to me, that means it was meant for me. <laughs> now, I cannot lie. I am not well versed at using the Acrocanthosaurus. It does have some mechanics that I may be a little bit wonky at using, but you know what? I want this dino and we're gonna try to master it because that's what I love to do. I like learning how to do something and I like doing my darndest at doing it. And I think it'd be really cool to just start taming and mutating these guys. I think that'd be really fun. And I'd like you to join me on this adventure. Please, please watch me. Please like my videos. <laughs> And subscribe if you do enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my commentary, because you know what? I like doing these videos. It's kind of fun. It's kind of carefree. Please, I welcome you. We got him in the trap. He went in beautifully. I was actually surprised how easy it was. And here is the Ruby Argentavis from that one short. We do tame him right after this. Now it's time to actually start taming the Afro. I use an Ascendant Compound Bow with Metal Arrows. I have found this to be more effective and cheaper than trying to find a really good sniper rifle and then making all the bullets for it. So far, this has been my best Acro tame yet. I think I only made two or three mistakes when it comes to making the acro attack me on accident but i didn't miss a single narcotics feed i think it took a total of 18 minutes this entire time
he was finally down for the count. And Cassidy had held her own against a few little little skirmishes out there in the desert. But we're both here, all three of us. We just needed to feed the beast. And I think he will be hungry with a bit of appetizer. I'm extremely happy with this tame. It went so smoothly, so quickly. We didn't spend three hours struggling with this guy. This trap was honestly perfect in using the metal arrows supreme. I think this will just be the technique I use from now on. It didn't even matter that I was using narcotics. It was great. And I think we'll be seeing this acro plenty in my future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.